Praise the Lord, everybody. This is Chaplain Rob Reyes of Tongues of Fire. Thank you for once again tuning in to this program. Lord, I thank you right now for all your love and kindness, your goodness and mercy. I praise your holy name, dear Lord, and give you the glory for you are so worthy of our praise. Lord, I'm asking, Lord, for if our people which are called by your name shall humble themselves and pray and seek your face, Lord. Yes, Lord. And turn from their wicked ways, then we shall hear from heaven and you will forgive us of our sins and heal our land. Lord, we need that healing today, Lord. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. We under siege. That's the name of this program today, under siege. We are under siege. The, the Antichrist has got a hold of this world and is going nuts. He's got a hold of our nation and we have turned away from God. He has gotten a hold. He's sitting up in the churches and we got pastors and, and church members that is doing all kind of crazy things. Yep. Mm. We're under siege, bondage. You know what a siege is? Siege is an encirclement or a blockade of a town or fortress by an army determined to capture it. A prolonged, for a prolonged period as of an illness or distress. Yes, it's not only warfare, and this proves what this devil is doing. It's not only capturing the world through all this, the, the terrorists and, and all the other things it's doing, changing the laws, but it's also attacking through illnesses, sicknesses, attacking our health, our finances, stressing us out to the point of some just can't take it. You know, spiritual warfare is what we're dealing with. It's the concept of taking a stand against supernatural evil forces, having a belief in the evil spirits which are able to intervene in human affairs. Christian demonology have adopted practices to repel such forces. A common form of spiritual warfare among Christians is prayer, including exorcisms, laying on of hands, Fasting and anointing with oil. In Daniel 8, 23 to 25, it says, In the latter end of their kingdom, when the transgressors, I'm going to read from the Amplified again, all right? I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. Let me start all over. And at the latter end of their kingdom, when the transgressors, the apostate Jews, have reached the fullness of their wickedness, taxing the limits of God's mercy a fear, and a king of fierce consonants and understanding dark trickery and craftiness shall, uh, shall stand up and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power, but he shall corrupt and destroy astonishingly and shall prosper and do his own pleasure. And he shall corrupt and destroy the mighty men and the holy places, the people of the saints. And through his policies, he shall cause trickery, trickery to prosper in his hand. He shall magnify himself in his own heart and mind. And in their security, he will corrupt and destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes but he shall be broken and that no man, no human hand, you see, by no human hand. See, in other words, it's going to take God to fix this up. Okay, so we know that it's going to take God to fix it, but does that mean we roll over and let this devil run all over us? No. I wanted to do a program that I did a long time ago that the devil fought me to get out and they only showed it for, a, they showed it a couple of times and that was it. But I wanted to talk about how we can actually fix this, at least fix our nation. And I also can tell you how we can fix the world. And it's with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We've gotten scared. We allow we allow silly people to come and start running things that don't know what they're doing. We just had a terrorist attack 
just the other day, right here in Texas, right in Texas. They say it was ISIS. ISIS is taking the credit for it. But they talk about, we have now suffering an attack by ISIS right on our homeland. Well, I remember way back when George Bush was in office. He said, if you pull out of Iraq and you take our troops out of there, the war may end there, but it will begin here. He said, they will leave there and come here and make war. He said, that's the reason why he's over there. It's because he wants to keep, he wanted to keep the war over there on their land. We can wipe them out, just go on and do it. If the nations of the world who, who don't want this antichrist is taking over, then get together and go ahead on and wipe that joke out. But yeah, I know. You got so many, as is said in that scripture I read, you're going to have the apostate Jews, which is the false prophet. You're going to have the Antichrist, which is all these who knows what politician, what, what king or president or what, whoever it is is going to rise up. Yeah. Well, anyway. This world is under siege or under a spell. It's in demonic in nature. The Antichrist is spreading his... Gen uh, genocide and torture all over the world. Satan has his stooges in every part of society creating havoc. In Ezekiel 3 and 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the words of, uh, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. That's what I'm doing. That's what I do. That's what I've been doing. For years I've been doing this. Let me talk about the world a little bit. Nukes in Iran. As far back as 2012, when they was trying to keep all these sanctions on Iran, Obama himself said that if the sanctions weren't there, if you do not keep the sanctions on Iran, that they would have the bomb within two months. 2012, if you can go back and look it up some kind of way, you'll see, I've seen it. Let me tell you something. A lot of people, I don't know, don't understand, don't hear what I be hearing. And I, and I straight up ask them, what newscast do you listen to? And they always want to tell me, I watch CNN, or some of them watch MSNBC. I said, what's wrong with Fox News? Oh, they don't like Obama. Man, it ain't about Obama. It's about getting the news, hearing what's going on. You know, you need to listen to more than one thing so you can you get, a, get a wise instructions. I haven't heard nothing wrong come out of them yet, but I have heard a whole lot wrong coming out of CNN and all them. Like in 2002 and 2004, when Bush straight up told him, he said, you better get this economy together. There's some things going on in Wall Street and all them other places. He told him in 2002 and 2004. And then when they didn't do it in 2006, he formed a committee. And uh, Barney Frank and uh, Maxine Waters shut him down, would not allow Congress and them, they all got together because it was a Democratic Congress and stopped him when he was trying to get the uh, stock market and all of them together because he said they were running wild, they doing things. And he told them as far back as 2002. Nobody heard that, huh? It's because you're listening to the wrong thing. Nukes in Iran, he said that in two months they could have it. This deal with Russia to put a dome over Iran will keep them from being able to bomb those silos so that they, where they making the missiles, where they making the, where they enriching uranium. And Korea said, we are going to supply them with the nukes so they don't have to worry about it. And okay, so now Russia and Korea already said that they're going to supply 
get them everything they need for nukes. What did, what did our president do? Lift the sanctions? Iran is over there partying like, you know, partying like rock stars because they are partying because they are announcing that the sanctions have been lifted. I don't care what anybody say. They mighty happy. That means in a couple of months, they could very easily have the bomb. And with this dome that they're talking about Russia giving them, there's nothing we can do about it. Russia is going to put a base in Cuba. But yet and still, we lift that embargo, whatever it is that we had against Cuba. We lift the sanctions off of them. And Russia is putting a missile base in Cuba now. Iran is putting a base in Bolivia and Venezuela. With the whole purpose of it, it's not to attack Israel. You don't need to put a base in Bolivia and Venezuela to attack Israel. Wake up. Who's that going to attack? The U.S. removed the missiles out of Poland, gave Russia free reign. So that's the reason why they went into the Ukraine and talking about Kazakhstan. That's why, because now there's nothing there to deter them. We downsized our military. We even sent pink, they sent pink slips to the military while they in, in battle sent them pink slips on the front. The Pope said anti-Semitism is now global. Last month, the Arab summit with a unanimous vote with the United States included on the side of the Arab states for the destruction of Israel. Oh, you want to know is the United States uh, friends with Israel? Well, when the president was over there with all of those, uh, with that Arab summit or that big meeting that they had that Israel was not invited to, and they all voted for the destruction of Israel. Iran said that if they nuke Israel, they would turn it into hell. Isaiah 5 and 20 says, Woe unto them that call good evil and evil good. And, wait a minute. Call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter sweet and sweet for bitter. Mm-hmm. There's a whole lot to be said about this. A whole lot. Let's talk about our nation now. 56 million babies have been murdered through abortion. The legalization of abortion. The Supreme Court right now, excuse me, is deciding whether or not to, to make same-sex marriage the law of the land. When you do that, we know what, 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 what is going to happen then. You say, well, we won't, we won't be like Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes, you will. And you, we know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah because what happens when you okay Abortion. I mean, not abortion. Same-sex marriage. I got it written right here in another message that I did. All of the things that will happen. Well, I, I can tell you, they're already trying to push for, well, they already, they've been in court over polygamy. Because they said, hey, why not? We can have more than one partner. I can have a, a husband and a wife. I can have a man and a woman. I'll marry a man and I'll marry a woman and I'll be happy on both ends. Okay? Yes. Okay? Uh, the been pushing for bestiality and they're actually talking, but they're actually supposed to be write, rewriting the laws of bestiality. That, that, shouldn't even, that shouldn't even come across. No, nobody should even be writing anything about bestiality. They have court cases about incest. A brother and sister got married in Texas, had children. 
And the state of Texas took their children away from them. And so now they, they fight in a, a case to legalize incest. So, so if they legalize it, then they can get their children back. They have large support for that. And it all stems from the same-sex marriage. Now, if that happens and they make it the law of the land, then what is to stop them from changing bestiality and everything else? They're already changing the laws of pedophilia and calling it a sickness. Like drugs, like being on drugs. Instead of getting long, long prison sentences for uh, having sex with a, a minor also, they, they want to change the age of consensual sex to 12 years old. There are people that's trying to do all these things, trying to change the laws to 12 years old for consensual sex, do away with the laws of, of pedophilia and all of those. Our nation commits abortions with this new Obamacare, uh, not, it's not new now, but it's part of the law, where they'll be able to kill you. And you think I'm lying, huh? You think I'm, oh, you know, like, like Pelosi said, pass the law and then read it. They passed it, and now they're reading it, and they find it out, you know, fatricide, killing your brother or sister. Parasite, a person who murders his father and mother or close relative. Patricide, murder of one's father or mother. Suicide, the act of killing oneself uh, purposely. Our nation passed Obamacare without reading it, makes it leak, uh, makes killing legal. Polygamy, bestiality, and, and courts are hearing cases on incest. Okay, we talked about that. Second Thessalonians. Two and three, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a fallen away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Electronic devices have replaced the Bible. Tattoos, body piercing has become the thing, sagging and carrying on. Entertainers selling their, their souls for money. Fornication, adultery. You know, let's go out there and freak freely. Why not? And false religions is on the move. Yes. And 1 Timothy 6, 9 and 11 says, But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which draw men into, in destruction and perdition. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some covet after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, goodness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. So many of these entertainers have sold their souls to, the, to Satan. And, and, they, and they don't care. A lot of people, they, you hear about what Beyonce and them did and Jay-Z, but yet and still, it don't matter. Everybody running behind them. Look at Kanye, made his own Bible. I forgot what he called it. They call it uh, Jizu or something like that. I don't know. It sounds like he's trying to call it after Jay-Z. You know, but he changed the wording and instead of God is Kanye. And and they and they pushing this book. You got folks that come out and say all kind of silly things, but because they entertainers and you watch them all the time. Oprah Winfrey, but in many ways. And, and she believes all kind of stupid stuff. And, and she, I, I understand she got her own church. You got people doing, the churches are no better. You got people like uh, 
uh, Rick Warren and, and all of them turned their way, turn away from God, but still preaching like they are of God. But on the backside, they doing things that go against God. We're living in a very, in very wicked times when families are turning on each other, politicians lying to the people and churches are politically correct. Take whatever you can get and force them to turn everything we believe of the word of God backwards. Hmm. In Matthew 25 and 26 says in the, his Lord answered and said unto him, thou wicked and slowful servant, thou knew that I reap where I sow not and gather where I have not sown. We have been taught of the word of God, which is now bad. And you can get sued and maybe imprisoned for preaching the word right here in America. That's right. Do you know that our nation might as well be turning, uh, they're not saying it, but we might as well be turning over to Sharia law? When we do what the government say do and take our freedom from us. If you come into my place of business and I don't want to serve you, big brother will come and say, no, you do it or else. There's no more freedom. But we knew that was happening because years ago, I think it was back in, uh, I started hearing about how in 2010, in another program I did, I gave you the dates and I might look it up and do it again, all over again. And I can give you the dates when the president signed over, uh, signed to do away with our rights. You know, this killing of blacks or uh, Black Lives Matter and all that kind of stuff, it's not by accident. It's not something that just started happening. But since 2009, FEMA and all of those organizations and uh, the IRS, FEMA, uh, the, the environmentalists, uh, the EPA and all that, these folks have been stocking up on weapons. Our police departments have been militarizing themselves. We heard about them, but now it's coming to pass. They militarizing themselves, you know? To them, all of us are the enemy. The way it looks, the way it seems, the way it's been going. Why would people like the IRS and, and all these different little uh, uh, other people have tanks and weapons? Oh yeah, when I talked about it before, people would say, oh, that's just rumors and, and that, that, that stuff done. Yeah, uh-huh. And also the camps, oh yeah, them camps and, that they have. Yeah, that stuff, uh-uh. But on those camps that they have right now, all those old military bases and things, if you go to them now, they got, they got tanks and everything else on them. But you say, oh no, why? It's because they know that the people are going to get tired and there's going to be unrest and our police departments are being militarized. They're getting the weapons they need to keep us in line. But it's not just the police departments. In 2011, our president signed over our sovereignty to the UN, meaning that other governments other nations will be on our land when the unrest. That's the reason why he's downsizing our military because we're not going to have a military that's going to stand up against nobody because they won't need it because they're going to have the one world order. Okay, I know I may be talking crazy to you, but I'm telling you, 
It might sound like I'm talking crazy, but we are under siege. And there's a lot of talk about the one world order. And there's a lot of talk about that one world currency, which is the mark of the beast. The scripture talks about the mark of the beast. No one will be able to buy or sell. That's, that's the one world currency right there. Whether it be on your hand, on your forehead, or some other method that they might have. Right now, what are they doing? In Obamacare, in May 26, 2013, written on page 1004, to implant chips. One of the ways is to plant a chip by putting a patch on you. Well, let me tell you what happened just recently. They came out with their new iPhone watch. People that bought it say they have a tingling under their skin. They say it's not just when you have the watch on. Once you take the watch off, your arms are still tingling. I don't know if that got anything to do with the patch or not, but it sounds mighty strange to me because when you know about the patch or about the little vitamin that they give you with the tiny little chip in there, that when you take that vitamin at the doctor's office, that chip gets activated by the acids in your, in your stomach. Now, I told you about that many times, and I even showed you pictures of it. That patch is made to put on. You could be getting an EKG, and they're putting patches all over you. You don't know which one has that silicone in there that penetrates the skin and forms a chip under your skin. Why is it that the iPhone watches, which go right here, or just right where this watch is, this is just like the extension of your hand, why is it that those that have the watch now are complaining about this feeling that they have? Gives you something to think about, don't it? Mm-hmm. It's amazing. It amazed me that everyone is upset on how the laws have been, can be changed and how we have no rights as Christians to serve Yahshua Jesus and keep the commandments and laws of God. It is said that we deserve what we got because we never wanted to hear the truth. Lord Jesus. That's the problem. When people like me try to tell you, what did they do when I tried to tell you in 2007? In June, in July the 2nd, 2009, they made all end time preachers, including me, put us on a watch list to watch us to listen to what we're saying. So, Lord, I'm asking right now, Lord, you raise up soldiers right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Please, Lord, save the people. Let them listen. Let them seek for themselves righteousness. And turn from their ways, Lord. Turn from their evil ways. And in this we pray in Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen. She said, nobody told me that the road would be I don't believe he brought